Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a nice, simple boat build. Very easy. Not only does it come in just plain white, but it comes in a variety of colours. Here we have a white and orange boat. It could easily just be orange though. Over here we have a red and white boat, and if you like, you don't even have to change the colour of the sail very much. So, you can see here where we have like red and we have the never break. Well, if you want, you can keep the quartz stairs and you can just change the blocks underneath them. So, here we have very quickly transformed this boring white sailboat into a glorious looking purpley blue sailboat and you can do this with any two colors of your choice you can get some pretty interesting combinations and you can have a really really nice looking lake or river or ocean or port or whatever you're looking for at the end of it if you're looking for some bills to complement your sailboats look no further than the boat house which i actually showed you how to make a little earlier in the week or maybe my lake house or absolutely anything that you may be able to find find on the screen in front of you and all of these builds that I have on the screen in front of you, you can find them. Check out the card system, check out the description below, and I'll leave you a link to my campsite tutorials playlist. It has absolutely everything that you can see on the screen down below in that playlist, and you can make all of it, or none of it, or however much of it that you like. Comment down below, what else should I make, what else can I add to my campsite, or any of my builds in general, let me know what should I build next. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360, but I think that that is way more than enough talking, guys. Why don't we start building some of these boats? So, to make these boats, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some oakwood stairs and some oakwood slabs. Grab spruce wood slabs and some spruce wood stairs. You'll also need some dark oak vents and you'll need some quartz stairs. Also, grab yourself some quartz block and we will also need some levers, levers, however you want to pronounce it. We'll also need an item frame, and I do wish we just had one more space available because we'd grab some trapdoors, but we'll just do that later. Once you have each one of those materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it just in a random position in this river, probably a little closer to the centre than not. Well, what you're going to want to do is you want to start this off with a row of five wooden slabs in the water. So, like... This is the first one, and then two, three, four, and five. And then I'm just going to destroy that block below that first wooden slab and replace it. So we want to have a row of five wooden slabs in the water. We then want to have upside down oak wood stairs on the left and right hand side of our boat. We want to have an upside down spruce wood stairs coming out of the front of our boat, and we want to have an upside down oak wood stairs coming out of the back of the boat. We want to have spruce wood slabs placed on top of the left hand side front and right hand side of the boat so on top of the upside down stairs on the left right and the upside down stair on the front we then want to have a lever placed in this position right here very near the back of the boat and if you like as a matter of fact we can just place ourselves an oak wood slab on top of that block so just to clearly separate the front and back of the boat we want to have that oak wood slab Behind that outward slab, place an item frame. We don't need item frames anymore. You can get rid of them and you can grab some trap doors. We only need one. We're going to place an, a trap door in the item frame. And this is kind of like the rudder of the boat. This would make more sense if it was down below, but then you wouldn't be able to see it, would you? And that's kind of the point. We then want to take out our dark oak wood fence. And on top of the center block of the boat, which is this one right here, we want to have a row of three dark oak wood fence coming up. That's one, two, and three. We then want to extend that fence forwards and backwards by two with the block of quartz. So that's one and two coming out the back, and this will be one and two coming out the front. We want to take those first blocks and place a quartz on top of them. We then want to do quartz stairs on the outside of and on top of those quartz blocks. So we want to have on the outside of and on top of those quartz blocks, quartz stairs. So like this in this formation. We then want to take this dark oak wood fence and we want to extend it upwards by further three that's one two and three like that poking out of the top we can then get rid of everything and this is pretty much the boat now if you want to make this boat a little bit more interesting it doesn't take very much imagination or any time if you want to change the sail of this boat, just pick two of your favourite colours, maybe lime and yellow, maybe to go a little bit Rio on this, and you can mess about with the sails if you like, you can place the yellow where you like, and the green where you like, or maybe you can just use three different colours, and then you can easily change the sail of the boat. You can not only change the quartz blocks, 
the actual proper quartz blocks, but you can also change the quartz stairs if you like. So if you like, if you'd prefer some redstone stairs, you can have some red sandstone stairs like this. Doesn't look too bad, does it? And if you decide that at the very top of this thing you'd prefer a never brick stairs, then you could easily add yourself a never brick stairs. Or maybe if you wanted to keep it a little bit more even, you could have a never brick stairs at the bottom and the top, and you can have orange in between. Now, I personally think that that looks extremely ugly what we've made, but it does prove the point that you can absolutely do whatever you like to these boats. They're really easy to make, it doesn't take too much time to make more than one, you can probably get one done in way less than three, four, five minutes if you're really slow like I am sometimes. But there's your boat. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. If you do, please do drop this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. I honestly would. Comment down below, what else should I make? on this lake or on my campsite or just in general let me know what else I should make I'd be interested to see what you guys want me to make also follow me on twitter at tsmc360 you can do the same thing there check out the card system for all of my campsite related builds you will very easily be able to find my campsite tutorials playlist which like I said, it's pretty much every single thing that you can see on the screen right in front of you right now. Absolutely everything here, I will show you how to make. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>